What's up everyone, my name is The Happy Hamburger, and welcome back to another video! So, we're doing more City Skylines. Both videos I've uploaded playing City Skylines in my City Skylines series have done very well for my channel standards, which uh, isn't very high, but better than all my other videos. So, next video I do, uh, which is not going to be tomorrow, but the day after, because I upload every other day, Next video I'm going to do won't be City Skylines, but as of now, the City Skylines series is doing very well, so I guess if it ain't broken, don't fix it. So, please subscribe, leave a like, that'd be amazing. Uh, just subscribe, leave a like, that'd be awesome. Turn on notifications so you don't miss a second of all the great videos I'm going to be uploading on this gaming channel. Alright, let's do this thing. Without any further ado, let's get into it. Just wait for this to boot up and let's do this thing. Yeah, but I mean, this series has been doing amazing, so if it ain't broken, don't fix it. That's what I'm going to be living by for this video. So, where did we last leave off? Oh yeah, so we last left off, we unlocked like a uh, new specializations for our city. Like self-sufficient housing, organic and local produce for our, um, what was it again? Oh yeah, commercial zones. We made a lot of progress last video, so let's hope we can continue that this video. All right, come on, bird, fly faster. Fly around that circle. Please don't be frozen. Come on. Yay, okay. So don't forget to subscribe. Leave a like, that'd be awesome. Highly appreciated. You're, you're an awesome person if you subscribe. But any further ado, let's get into it. So, so this city has expanded a lot. Still don't have a firehouse, so uh, we should probably fix that. How much is this? Ooh, that, that's... By the way, these are not things in the vanilla game. These are Steam Workshop things I decided to buy. Okay, you know what? That covers most of the city. I think that should be a good spot. Right? Covers almost all the city. Except up here. You know what? I think it's good enough. Alright? Good enough. This thing will be our fire service for now. We'll get more later. Now, we got this whole district that has to develop, so let's speed this up a little. And I guess after this develops, we'll just go from there. Don't see why not. Hey, we got a patrol car. And it said it wasn't effective. It, this is not very efficient. Why are you guys following? If you're going to patrol, patrol in different areas. Ugh. Jeez Louise. So this is eco-friendly land district. We got Dale district. We got Belmont district. And most importantly, the Bridge of Warriorness. Misspelled on purpose. Yeah, th This is a real nice bridge and I don't even have to build it. Since our city's stuff is on a river, it automatically like gives you a bridge so people can get to your city. This also needs to be the Bridge of Warriorness. Hold on. Both bridges are the Bridge of Warriorness. If there's a bridge that's not the Bridge of Warriorness, it's not a bridge by my standards, okay? So, we want to go to Roads. Uh, roads Select. There we go. Bridge of Warriorness. Okay, Roads Select. Uh-oh. Um, come on. Pleasant Bridge. We're going to spell it even worse this time. Da Bridge. Of caps lock warrior ness misspelled on purpose. Let's go. <laughs> Should probably turn my caps lock off now. Okay, there we go. Okay, the bridge of warrior ness and the bridge of warrior ness. There's a difference. Have you lost your wallet? I found a black leather wallet. Um. I don't think so. Should probably ask the citizens instead of the mayor's Twitterberg. <laughs> yeah, if if you haven't watched the rest of the videos, I will add a card in the top right corner with a link to the playlist of City Skylines for my other two videos. So you definitely want to watch those before you watch this one just to see how we started out and how we progressed. So watch those two videos first. I'll leave a card in the top right corner with the link to them. I like how our school looks. You, know, you don't even need field trips. Just go to the roof. Good enough. 
Okay, does garbage cover service cover all this? It does. Fire does not. Education, it, it does. That's good. We can get a high school now. We'll do that later. Electricity, we're starting to run a little thin. A little bit. So we're going to wait for this to develop, and then I guess we can go from there. Maybe expand this way a little more. Because right now, I think we're everything's pretty good. I mean, there's not a whole lot to be fixing right now. Everything's looking pretty dandy. I mean, we're expanding at a very fast rate. We're making lots of profit. Like, everything's pretty dandy. And I did realize last video that you can't, like, since my OBS only records, like, a certain portion of the screen, I'll have to fix that if I can. You can't see the bottom portion of the screen where, like, the city name is, the time speed up, and all that. But I'll be able to tell you. Right now our population 249 going up by 76. Alright. Uh, we need to get some parks. No one here has, like, happiness. A botanical garden for 15,000. I'll pass. Okay. Bouncy Castle Park. Okay. Everyone needs a Bouncy Castle Park in their life. Bouncy Castle Park for you. Bouncy Castle Park for you. And Bouncy Castle Park for you. Now everyone can be happy. Oh, we need a bouncy castle park over here. It'll make us almost broke. Never mind. You guys get a Japanese garden. Still good. Boom. Japanese garden. Okay, now we have lots of, like, recreational places. Recreational parks. So that that'll make our citizens a lot happier. That should help. Okay, now that we got the parks in place, eco-friendly land is pretty much fully developed. I think we should do, like, this. I will make an intersection here. And this can all be developed. So, this side is going to be all residential. And then, well, let me make this all residential first. We'll do, like, a little strip mall here. This will be... Commercial. Now the industrial demand is going up pretty rapidly, so I think we should probably address that. Let's see, could we make this a little like factory zone or is that not enough room? I guess we'll find out. Oh, it is enough room for a couple factories. Good enough. Alright, so this area is developing. We want to make sure traffic can flow pretty easily through here so we want to go to junction where do we want to stop so we'll put one here and one here yeah that should do good okay we'll put those there that'll help traffic flow a lot easier I forgot to put water pipes under the new road gosh darn it this might make us broke don't know okay no it doesn't okay now you all have access to water jolly good so, we got this little commercial area up over here. Then the rest of all this is going to be these self-sustaining homes. Which, I mean, the self-sustaining homes, I think, are worth it. If we look at them, we're... There they are. So, the self-sufficient buildings, self-sufficient homes. So, it consumes 30% elec electricity, which is good. Produces 30% less of garbage. They must not be eating as many Lay's bags as the one over here. As the uh, houses over here. And they uh, they also generate 30% less tax income. That's probably because they're using 30% electricity. 30% less electricity. Man, I cannot talk today. Which means their electricity bill, it, it, it's reduced by 30%. I don't think they have to pay for garbage service, but we could think on that. If, we, if they want to pay for garbage service, I'll be more than happy to let them. Okay, we'll just drag that out there. And now, I think we should... This can be another little industrial area here. But I am doing my best to try and like keep the industrial as far away from the residential as I possibly can. Now, that would be too close. That'd make these guys sick because of all the pollution. Unless we had it specialized. Eco-friendly land's looking nice. I like it. We got it split into four little quadrants. It's looking nice. You need educated workers. 
it's a two uneducated, and that that that's it. Well, maybe you're not good enough for the your clothing store, M and H Clothing. I don't think you need education to put T-shirts on a shelf. You need hand decor. Ooh, that's not good. Are we not producing enough power? I mean, we're producing enough. Oh, that probably means like it. The oh yeah, we need like the coal supply to constantly come in since it's a coal power plant. That's probably why. That's why I put it right next to the highway. With a little dirt road entrance so the coal truck could make it over here easily to deliver the coal. Because we really need it. Uh oh. Our income is going down. Why is this? I know you guys. I'm pretty sure you guys can't see that. But uh, the income is going down. That's not good. Stay up. Please. Alright, you, you don't need educated workers, you're, a, you're apparently, uh, that's a, like, five-story clothing store, goodness gracious. I mean, what do you guys think? I think things are really shaping up pretty well here. We could use another little residential, though. But right now, I don't know if we got the money to do that. We have a little under 5,000, so I don't know. If we have the money for that. Which we probably do not. So, and I think it'd be best. If we expanded like this way. That way it'd be easier to reach for the fire department. And the clinic. And all those guys. The bouncy castle park has attracted two tourists. Oh my gosh. Tourism is through the roof. Because we put a random bouncy castle. With a little playground next to a hospital. Like, across the- around the block. To cement- wait, that's Goods Unlimited. And it's a literal ball. This is Goods Unlimited? Disappointed in how this city's industry is shaping up. Okay, yeah, we definitely need more residential. I- I'm pretty sure you guys can't see it, but the residential demand is through the roof. If you watched the last video, I kept pronouncing it residimensional. Because apparently, these, this is not Earth. You know it's not, and it never will be. Yet again, you know what? This is just going to be entirely residential. And it's going to be part of eco-friendly land. Boom. This is all going to be eco-friendly homing homes. See, now the population is going down quite a bit. Just because all these houses that are not eco-friendly, that I put into eco-friendly land, are going away and rebuilding into, like, eco-friendly homes. Self-sustaining homes. So that's good. Oh, we got our warm water pipes under here. I forget to do this every time. You could, like, comment down below. Don't forget your water pipes, like, millions of times. And I'd still forget the water pipes. <laughs> Alright, to be honest, there's not really anything that needs my immediate attention other than five-story clothing stores asking for more educated workers. Oh, we can get a new piece of land! Where do we want? I think I want this one. Ba-boom. I literally spent all of our money on that. We only have a thousand dollars now. But now, we have extra- Uh-oh, that's not good. Uh-oh. Um... We're com we can't produce enough power at this point, and we don't have enough money for another power plant, so I think it's time for a loan. Now, what loans do, they give you a bunch of money, but it takes away from your profit, 5%. You know what? We only need, like, 20000 so we'll take a $20,000 loan, and we need to build another type of power plant, but we can't afford any other power plant than coal. Hmm... Might want to invest in some other power options sooner or later. So, where, where do we want this other coal power plant? Eh, right here seems like a good spot. Yes, coal power plant, construct. Start producing electricity. 
we should be getting some cold trucks in here pretty soon. Is this producing? Yes, it is. Okay, now we got enough electricity for the whole city. An abandoned building. Seriously, it's a clothing store, and this is organic food, so I guess you might need... <laughs> the freight truck came to it just as it got abandoned. Well, I guess we can bulldoze that. And you're probably going to go abandoned pretty soon, too. To be on, Why? Why are so many people asking for more stuff? Yeah, we definitely need to get a high school. Or we could get an institute of creative arts, but that's pretty expensive. And we can't afford either of those right now. But, I mean, eventually we'll get enough profit. If the residential zones keep paying their taxes, we'll be all good. The last of the housing over here has been constructed. And the industrial demand is still managing to go- What? Are all these little factories? These look like oil plants, but they're all goods unlimited. I don't get this. Garments limited? What? These don't even look like factories. Goodness gracious. Hey, we re- So- we get new policies, new roads and stuff, new buildings, one of which we have unlocked access to mass transit and natural disaster response stuff. Hip hip hooray, and we got that huge economical boost. Yeah, boy. Okay, what are we gonna spend this on? Should we get a, some buses? Actually, that's really expensive. I think we should get taxis instead. <laughs> Good enough. But before we do anything, we should probably get a high school. Seeing to everyone's complaining that we need a high school. Let's put it in an area where all the residential has access. And that will be right there. Kids, you can go to high school now. Can we not afford taxis? Okay, we can afford taxis. I don't care how useless it is. I need taxis. You wouldn't understand. We'll put it right there. Dispatch the taxis. Waiting for the yellow cabs. Yeah. <laughs> Dispatch the taxis. Anytime now. Come on. Anytime. Yeah, there they go. Our first taxi. Woo! Alright, anyways, guys, I'm going to end this video here. I certainly hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave a like. That would be amazing. And I uh, certainly hope you enjoyed. Subscribe, turn on notifications so you don't miss a second of some of the great game and content I'm going to be uploading. And, well, I will hopefully see you in my next video. Peace out.